when people think of Alzheimer's, they usually think of like plaques and tangles. They're essentially these proteins that have um, somehow aggregated. This aggregation causes a neuronal cell death. What happens when we have neuronal cell death in healthy brain is that uh, we lose basic functions in our brains. What we're focusing on right now is tau, which is thought to be a toxic protein. What we don't understand about these toxic proteins is why are they aggregating? That's what we're trying to get at through studying the structure of the protein. We start with human brain tissue from people who had these diseases, and then we image them on what's called a cryo-electron microscope. We take hundreds of thousands of images, and through these images, we see the actual protein filaments. There were a couple of unknown densities around the structures. We kind of figured out what these unknown densities were. Perhaps we found the first domino that causes a domino effect of protein aggregation and neurodegenerative diseases. I'm really proud of the work we've done. We did something that was really interesting. It's exciting also because this was my first experience with actual research. So I'm originally from the country of Georgia. Uh, I didn't go straight to college after graduating high school. I worked in uh, women's health care and education with the European Youth Parliament, and I really want to become a doctor. When I entered college, I wanted to see how I could use biology and chemistry and even physics and kind of combine them. And so I joined the Fitzpatrick lab. <laughs> and like, here we are now. <laughs> Dr. Anthony Fitzpatrick has been uh, one of the most important mentors in my life. We talk a lot about science. I think that's the most fun part of it. He's also been really supportive, like with my summer internships and my future plans. Dr. Fitzpatrick arranged an opportunity for me to go to the Mayo Clinic in Florida and be able to shadow a top neurosurgeon in the nation. This is kind of a testament to what happens when we give uh, young aspiring women in STEM opportunities, they become unstoppable, which is what happened with Christina and I. Really has confirmed for me that I really like being in a lab and doing science like every day. And I, I think ideally I'd like to do that for the rest of my life. <laughs>